Yes. This is Chris Moore. Thanks for tuning in with Legal Questions and Answers. The second half of what I want to talk about involving custody in the family courts is mediation or representing yourself or hiring an attorney. I don't take the position that everybody needs to hire an attorney all the time. But understand, you will basically get one shot to determine custody and that will be something if the child is young that will carry through till the child is at least 18 years old in the state of New York. So you better get it done right and you better understand that if you don't get it done right, very often you're stuck with the determination that you've made. I find that people tend to think, well, I watched this or I read that, I can do it on my own. And they do it on their own because they think they can't afford an attorney or they think that they can do the job that the attorney who's been in family court for years and years and decades and that they can do the same degree of job that that lawyer has been doing. It doesn't happen that way, especially because you are emotionally involved in the determination. So very often you are in some type of a fight, if you will, with the other parent and certain things are said and you think, well, we'll work it out and he or she seems to think that, you know, we're getting along better. It doesn't always end up that way because what you will find sometimes too late is that the other party who you're in family court against has been seeing a lawyer and speaking to a lawyer and you have not availed yourself of that opportunity. Don't be caught short. If mediation works, understand that just because you have a mediator mediating the dispute, that mediator isn't working for you as opposed to the other person. And even though the mediator seems like they're very nice and everything is calm, cool, and collected, remember, when you get out of family court, it doesn't always end up that way. Go at least speak to a lawyer and have that lawyer be available even if you don't disclose who that lawyer is. You'll pay the lawyer when you go to see them, but it's a lot less than paying them to go to court with you. If you need more information, call me or some other lawyer that has a lot of experience in this area. At the numbers, you can contact me on the bottom of the screen. This is Chris Moore. Thanks for tuning in with Legal Questions and Answers.